Hey guys, so it's three in the morning and I am not prepared to be making a video right now. And I know I haven't made one in a while, but um, I had some ideas and it's just something I wanted to get off my chest about right wing art. So I've talked about it many times. I don't think I've talked about it on my own YouTube channel, but I've mentioned it on Rebel Media. And, you know, I talk about it all the time. Um, Anthony Brian Logan's show, he's amazing. A lot of uh, the people that have let me talk about what's been going on with me, I'm really thankful for, and they're really, really great. Basically, I am a professional artist, performance artist in New York City. I do avant-garde performances to burlesque, things like that. And New York City nightlife has that scene and the art scene. And um, I've been paying my bills doing that and making awesome art, um, trying to interpret my world with the art. and. I have been really frustrated with the degeneracy that that consumes the art world. And I've written about it on my blog, martinamarcota.com. I've talked about art and uh, the nudity in art and the spectrum that there is. And um, I always feel that I've always done my artwork class and grace and I like to incorporate um, traditional stuff as well with my art but then put a beautiful twist to it because I love beauty and uh, with Lady Alchemy I unite the truth with the beautiful and I like to take alchemical concepts and these truths and portray them through uh, physical theatrics and uh, just create beauty out of these truths so there's deeper levels to it and a lot of the art that I've seen people do is just shock value it's um you know to each his own and I've been around it and um I've seen a lot of anti-Trump artwork there's people in my industry that have burned American flags they have uh, pissed on American flags they do a lot of uh vaginal artwork and things and something that I always like to do is called sculpture dancing and if you're familiar with my work I dress up in a lot of religious looking halos and robes and and I like to look really esoteric and avant-garde and I do what I coined called sculpture dancing and I would explain to directors and stuff that um when you go to the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City, it's my favorite museum, you go to the classical Greek sculpture section and even though they're nude, they're not sexual. They, they have these beautiful poses and they just, you know, just really like, I love it. And to incorporate that stuff and I always thought that I brought something unique to the table that has been forgotten and with a more modern twist to it. Now, in the art scene, people found out that I was a Trump supporter and they did not take it very well. These are extreme social justice warriors. They would tell me in the dressing room that Trump is literally Hitler, that he wants to round up gays, Jews, and blacks and send them to concentration camps, that uh, he's racist because of the wall and we don't deserve the land because we're horrible white people <laughs> and just things that just don't make any sense and they're like extreme and they started to attack me come on my social media and just like pick fights with me um, eventually things got to the point where it was really bad where um, the harassment just was like non-stop and they got my um, my agent to stop booking me because they refused to work gigs that I was on. The theater that I worked at stopped booking me after November 9th, 2016. Um, 
I've been blacklisted when people want to do shows with me and uh, venues will send uh, emails to the people producing the show saying uh, you need to replace her or the show is canceled. Um, they would message photographers or any business entity that I worked with that I posted about on social media to inform them that a Nazi is working for them. Um, a Nazi. I've talked about all this stuff a lot on different platforms, not on my show, but um, I kind of wanted to now add to all that's been going on, um, and that is they wanted to kick, push me out of New York. Uh, they said, let's get her out of New York, let's get her out of the industry, and I'm not leaving New York. Not only am I born and raised here, but it is my duty to shift the culture here and to shift the art scene. And uh, there are a few projects that I have been working on that I think you guys should know about. I was asked to be a part of this show in New York uh, after people heard about me. Um, <clears throat> now that I'm this crazy right winger. And I was asked to be part of a show called Donna Trump Lova and the Siberian Sex Circus. And at first, I didn't know if I wanted to be part of it because as a Trump supporter, I was like, what do you want me involved in this? It's basically um, <clears throat> the third daughter of Donald Trump, uh, who was born from a Russian stripper who wants to meet her daddy. And so she creates the Siberian sex circus to get daddy's attention and be famous like him, rich and famous like him. And... Um, she puts on this show. It's it's a tape performance, kind of like a Manhattan broadcast, a public access broadcast, and it's really cool and it's edgy. But the thing is, it's not a right wing show. It is a free speech show. Um, I at first thought it would be another uh, tacky attempt at taking a jab at the right and Trump. But I started to realize they really wanted me on board. They wanted my my free expression. A lot of people were really upset um, that I was even a part of the project. They refused to join the project. They complained about me. Um, the people in the scene, nightlife scene, New York performing scene. And um, I just really was thankful that these people were allowing an opportunity for me. <laughs> the left were really pissed off. Um, they didn't think that I deserve a platform and, uh, I really give props to this show because, um, they, they have everyone. They certainly have left wing. The people producing it are not left or right, particularly, um, they're certainly not right, but they allow me to be on the show and, uh, they love me being on the show and they encourage my expression and my freedom of speech. So I am working with people out in California, out in LA with this new site that is launching in July, July 7th. Um, it is called dnew.site. Uh, it's about authentic culture, citizen journalism, and meme warfare. So their proposition is to take back culture through artists and influencers who celebrate the American dream of free expression and liberty. The founder, Mark Lacey, having spent over 30 years working in television and film industries, believes it is important now more than ever to own our platforms as the left continue to censor our voices, demonetize our efforts, and flat out make it more difficult to grow, uh, to grow supporters on their platforms, it is important to have media companies where both conservatives and free thinkers could thrive. So we are looking to make culture great again. Come and join the experience. The new dot site. So I think it's really important for us to push our expression and push our our, our art um, out there into the world and that is how we win that is how we get them that's how we get the youth that is how we can be free again because it really is in the arts and the culture 
and it's our duty to do this. And if you don't make art, that's fine. But, you know, there's opportunities for you to support. And uh, I haven't really gotten that much support in my arts either. I'm looking to do a lot more. And uh, I really want to pursue the right wing art avenue because I've never really done political artwork before. I always kept my artwork about alchemy and um, things like that and just expressing those things. But I've been pushed so far where I can't even perform those things and I've been shut down. So it is just full on, let's make right wing art. The left dress up as Nazis and perform that way and it's okay for them to do anything and be shocking. Um, they do things involving piss, do piss porn and all sorts of stuff and they feel that they have the moral high ground over me. It is time for us to create, make art great again and uh, things are just really going to change. I'm excited about it and I hope you guys support because I can make great artwork all day long but if you guys don't really care about it and you just think art kind of just sucks in general and what's the point, this can't work. Um, I hope that we can find other filmmakers or things like that. I'm in New York, so we do a lot of live performance. I'm really good with that, stagecraft and all that stuff, but um, I really urge other filmmakers or things like that to collaborate and uh, start making stuff that's better than the left. That is how we get them. Their art is lame. It's not funny. It's not good. It's pretty crappy. And um, I think lately... Our artwork has been good. Uh, our memes are amazing. That is art. And if we can just like take that into different um, avenues and express it in different outlets, then we have the power in that. I don't think we're losing. I think we're winning. We won the House. We won the Senate. We won the presidency. We're winning the culture wars. We really are. They are so lame and so extreme. They don't have a chance if we just produce good content and expose them for what they are. Sunlight is the best disinfectant. So let's show them, the world, their crap and how bad they are and uh, produce good stuff.